tell you what, it's a long way to camp. <laughs> Not that much. Uh, it is a wonderful experience to play your first game, I can tell you that. And I thought it would be a great opportunity on this week's Remember When to catch up with a player that played his first game in 1998. He was a nuggety little midfielder and a great bloke. Check this out. remember when with an old mate of mine I used to play football with back in our halcyon days when we were young and fresh. <laughs> it's Guy Ragone, how are you guys? Hey, how are you, mate? Good to see you, mate. You too, now, you're adorned in your uh, work here. Oh, you work, tell, give him a plug, you work yeah. for Caterpillar, don't you? I work for William Adams Caterpillar, yeah. the dealer here in Victoria and Tasmania for the big Caterpillar equipment. And you've been working into them for a while, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I started when I was still playing with Melbourne part-time and then went into a full-time role when I retired. So really yeah, enjoying good. it. I was a bit dirty today. Yeah, you've about, been working so. hard, obviously, not yeah. like me. I just uh, rolled in the dirt to make it look like I've been doing a bit. <laughs> it's always great to catch up with my old mates and uh, find out what's going on. Now, what I wanted to talk to you about, Rig, is it's, uh, it, it's kind of special to me too because we sort of started out at the same time. My first year at Melbourne, I remember, towards the end of the season, you played the last couple of games in the reserves, if I remember correctly. You were playing for Murderford that year, your hometown in Murderford. Yep. You got a phone call. Now, talk, talk me through what was going on at the time. You got a phone call by the Melbourne Demons to come down and play in the reserves. Yeah, um, they must have heard about that Murderford have a pretty big mad Monday. And I was God, actually, he has a yeah, pretty big mad Monday. I was actually at the pub, and I think it was about... 8.30 at night. I've definitely. seen that pub. There's a yeah. picture of Gary Abbott That's Senior right. in there, and I think maybe you as well. Yeah, myself <laughs> and Steve McKee who also it's good, made it. Good uh, footy was players. Up there. And uh, the phone rang, and the bartender said to me, look at your dad calling. And I said, I'll take a message. And then <laughs> he said, no, he really wants to speak to you, so I thought I'd better take it. And, you know, Dad, what's going on? He said, oh, some bloke from Melbourne rang up and said, do you want to come down and play on Saturday with them? They're, they're a bit short. And uh, I thought about it. I was pretty pissed. So I said... <laughs> I, I said to the boys, what do you reckon, boys? Should I go? And they're like, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. So I thought, all right, tell them I'll play. And he goes, do you think you should come home? I said, no, nah, nah. give me another couple of hours and then I'll get home. So. And the rest of the history, I played a ripper game for them when I come down and we um, beat Richmond. It was the only win for the year for the Demons. And yeah. Mate, it was a fantastic day. I, I remember it well because I played my first game on the MCG. Uh, I think it was the Saints yep. uh, we were playing. And I think you were rolling around and just, just watching you going. I'm thinking, who's this guy? You're just, just racking up the possessions, and the tail of the tape was on the basis of those couple of games and your season with Murderford, yep. you got drafted to the mighty Melbourne Demons. And uh, mate, you had a great career, but I'll, this segment more specifically is about your first game. Yep. Now, your first game was a really hot day against Fremantle. That's correct. But I want to talk about your <laughs> very first game. <laughs> your first game against Ansett Cup. It was Ansett Cup back then. We played Sydney in New Zealand. Yep. Folks, do you remember that? We yep. went all the way over to New Zealand. Yep. He pulled on the jumper and played on a handy little player. Yeah. Who was that? It was Paul Kelly. Paul Kelly. First up. And used I was, to go uh, all right. Yeah. Bit of a uh, baptism of fire. It was a bit. Danaher chucked me in and said, let's yeah. see how you go with this bloke. Yeah. Yeah. He just... Uh, Brownlow medalist, I think it was at yeah, the time. Yeah. Big yeah. guns. Big guns. Could play. His, uh, his arms were bigger than my legs yeah, at the time, so and I was a little bit nervous. All of a sudden, during the game, this happened. Yeah. You, you, you're playing on him quite tight. Yeah. It's down on the back flank there. He the bent over to pick out. up the ball, and I bent down to tackle him as he picked it up. The next thing I know, I'm on the ground, and he's on top of me, and you've cleaned him up. <laughs> so, and took my front two footer just about. So. I'm, I'm, look, I, I never really did a lot of that sort of yeah. uh, yeah, one yeah. percent of business, I suppose, but. Uh, yeah. early, early days, I, I suppose I did. I tried to take out Paul Kelly for yeah. you, but I ended up taking out your teeth. Oh, no. I ended up at the dentist that night and got it uh, fixed up, and Paul Kelly apparently had concussion and uh, played the rest of the game. Took and he ended up kicking two goals, and he can't remember it. So. It's one of the best things I ever did, was take out two of the hardest nuts that ever played, <laughs> and one of them was Guy yeah. Rigoni. Just a wonderful little Remember When segment uh, with one of the past greats of the Melbourne Football Club. Great to see you, Gus. Thanks, Robbo. Good on you, pal. Pleasure. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We're still a long way to go to Canberra, but we're going anyway because we're supporting the Demons all the way. That's been the Robbo Show. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a ball of a time. I'll see you next week for another action-packed show of entertainment and awesomeness. <laughs> I'll see you then. <laughs>